it's Sherry from A Quilting Life and I'm here today to share my brand new Vintage 2 quilt pattern. This is a fun, fat eighth friendly quilt that I can't wait to share with you. It is pieced with our strawberry lemonade fabrics which are showing now to shops and which will be in stores in January of 2024. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is the new Vintage 2 quilt pattern, and this quilt finishes at 62 and a half by 75 and a half. It is a fat eighth quilt, and as I mentioned earlier, this is actually based on an earlier pattern that I did that was called Vintage, and it was actually one of the earliest quilts that I designed. It was pieced with some very kind of muted, taupes and blues and browns and very kind of old-fashioned feel to the fabrics that I used for that original quilt with a linen background. And over the years that pattern has been a favorite, but I kept thinking there were some things that I wanted to change about that pattern. That pattern actually did not have any sashing or cornerstones in it and I just really always felt like it really would have benefited from that. So I was really excited to make it with our Strawberry Lemonade collection. And I had so much fun picking the fabric combinations for this quilt while I sewed. A fat eighth will actually cut out all of the pieces for one block. So what you can do is you can then mix and match. As you can see with this one, I used two different pinks and then accented with the red. But in this block over here, I actually chose to use the same fabric for the center and the outer portions and just have one other fabric included. So you can, and you can mix and match throughout the entire quilt after you cut everything out. You can just decide this is how I want to put it together. And so I, I think I did about 50-50 with the blocks. I think about 50% of them. I did like this one where I used two, you know, similar colors but different prints for the center and the outer part. Uh, and then I think about 50% of them I did just use that same fabric. And it, it's really a fun mix. The other thing that I really enjoyed doing with this is our collection has several low volume prints. And so I was able to use those as backgrounds and so I use them not as backgrounds on the inner portion of the block though. I just felt like that tone on tone that I used from the collection was really nice there to help make it stand out. But I really like having some of these low volume backgrounds sprinkled throughout the quilt. Another thing I did was when I originally started thinking about making this was I was going to have a low volume sashing and I still think that would be a really great option, but I, I just really had fun using the gingham that is printed on the bias for the sashing. It just really, really added to it. The, this quilt was custom quilted by Val Krieger and she did just a really fun little crosshatch inside the centers and loops in this accent piece and then out here she did like these circle loops and then just the leaves, which I love, throughout the background of each block. So each block was actually quilted the same way and then the little like swirls in here. So she did just a beautiful, beautiful job. On the border, she did more of a, a, these straight lines with the circles and that just kind of mimics some of the other, other elements that she used in the quilt. Now with this quilt, I really need to share the backing with you. We are often asked about what fabrics we use for the backings on our quilts. And this backing, I decided to use our 60 inch wide hexagon cheater print. And I absolutely love this fabric. I, I we couldn't be more happy with it. It's great for using in quilt blocks and within the quilt as borders, but as a backing, it is just phenomenal. And I just really, really love 
how the backing on this one turned out. Okay, actually, I really wanted to pull, pull the fabric yardage out and just show you how beautiful this is and how easy it is to work with. I also wanted to tell you that it's super easy to cut because there are actually the lines in here from the hexagon, so when you're cutting it, you can actually cu cut on those lines and, and it goes straight across and you can get a nice, even cut. You can see that I use the lines to get it. And actually, it was really easy to match up for my backing. If I turned the quilt back over again, it would be really hard to show you where the seams are because it was so easy to match. One other thing I wanted to point out about this, these little hexagon flowers can be cut, if you fussy cut them, they work out perfectly for a five inch square. And even when you sew that five inch square into a quilt, your hexagon flower will remain intact. And so that's just a really fun way to add. Something else fun, this fabric is not included in the Fat Eighth Bundle and it's not included in any of the pre-cuts, but it just makes a really fun option if you get some of this yardage, you can fussy cut it and use it in place of charm packs. And I do have a, a quilt where I did that. So anyway, just had to point out this wonderful fabric that we use for the backing. Okay, and so I think that I've gone over all the details. Oh, I did want to talk a little bit about skill level. This is actually a, a, a fairly easy quilt to put together. If you're worried as a new beginner, if you can make this quilt, I will tell you that it, it actually is not as difficult as it looks. These center units, I did use the Mini Simple Folded Corners Ruler by Doug Lico of Antler Quilt Designs to do these corner sections. And something else I did too was I made all of these units first. That way I could chain piece, I could lay out all my pieces, do an easy corner section and chain piece them all and then bring them back, add another one, chain piece them all. So it went together very, very quickly for that reason. These outer units, I also used that ruler for, uh, by Doug Lico to do these outer sections. And the inner units are really forgiving because you're making a flying geese type unit, but it, because of the way the block is, you don't have to worry about these points getting cut off. So I really feel like a confident beginner, you know, maybe not for your first quilt, but if you're confident, I feel like this is a good quilt for you because there are some places where it's pretty forgiving as a quilt maker, you know, and these points, you should be able to get them perfectly since you're not having to have a seam going right here. So yeah, a really, a really good project to learn on and to have fun with. Okay, so that's it for my new Vintage 2 quilt pattern. I hope you will enjoy making this quilt. The fabrics are Strawberry Lemonade, and it's a collection that is showing to shops now and will be in stores in January 2024. The pattern in paper and PDF for this and my other new Strawberry Lemonade patterns is in the shop now, and you can find those with the link from the description. If you enjoyed today's video, please share it with a friend, hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for stopping by.